negotiations got three critical elements in it. I've used the acronym TIP, T-I-P. So the first factor we've got to be thinking about is time. You want to give yourself time to make wise decisions. If you negotiate under pressure, you can end up making decisions without all the facts. You can end up not deciding if the other party wants something and you haven't calculated what it's really going to cost you to be able to deliver that. You could end up getting into, into a horrible mess. And you want to assess and make sure that you know your counterpart's timeline. Try and figure out how much of a rush they are in and do your best not to leave negotiating until the last minute. Information is another crucial element of negotiation. The UPS is United Parcel Service. UPS before 1996 did not employ any full-time staff. They only used contract, contract labor. And the unions went in to negotiate to get jobs. And they made sure that they went in armed with very, very good legislative information. They did masses and masses of homework. And what resulted in that negotiation was 10,000 people getting permanent employment. And the last one is power. So we've got to be conscious of power or another word for it is leverage. So what leverage do you have? And what leverage does the other party have? And what could impact your ability to persuade? There's different kinds of power or leverage. I've summarized it into dominantly 12 kinds of power or leverage that you could use or that you could have the other party might actually have and to be aware of the impact that they have.